I went to Haiti in early January 2010. As we walked across the lobby floor of the Montana Hotel, we heard this tremendous rumbling behind us. And I said, it's an earthquake. Dust is coming up and we're all falling down. And I remember my thoughts were, this is the real deal. Is this how we're going to die? We were there for 55 hours together. We prayed together, uh, sometimes together out loud and sometimes uh, individually to ourselves. When I go back to the Montana Hotel, I'm also reminded of my colleague Sam Dixon and Clint Rabb. I could not help but walk over to the spot where we had been trapped and think about them and their lives and, and their families, particularly how they have lost them. Just the same as 300,000 Haitians lost their lives. United Methodist Church has been very generous. I think uh, more than $43 million have been raised. It's going to cost between 11 and $14 billion to rebuild Haiti, or as they say, to build Haiti back better. And so the 43 million we've given is great, but we need not, uh, we ought not to grow weary in, in our generosity. We should continue that. Pray for the people of Haiti. Pray for the leadership of the Methodist Church of Haiti. They have tremendous burdens to carry uh, for the church. Pray for the political process there. Pray for UMCOR and UMVEM and the leadership of those two organizations that represent you, United Methodist in Haiti. UMCOR is working to build schools. We also have someone who is working on livelihoods. How can people generate some income out of these camps? A person who's working on water, health, and sanitation. Such a big, important issue now with, uh, with the cholera epidemic that has occurred. I was working in Haiti before the earthquake. My sense of calling was to be there in, in agriculture and community development. I've had people ask me, well, didn't you find it hard to go back? And I had to say no. I didn't find it hard to go back. In fact, I would have found it hard not to go back because I was doing what I was called to do when I was there and I could not abandon it. I needed to go back and to, to re-engage. And even though my contribution might be small, might be like a drop in the bucket, we need every drop that can be put in place in order to make the transformation of Haiti what it has to be. It needs to be for the people of Haiti.